side at noon, focused on you. We begin with breaking news at noon. St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner is stepping down today. She has been under fire for months. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. I'm Kay Quinn. Five on your side's Christine Byers joins me now with information just coming into the newsroom. What are you hearing, Christine? So, Kay, I just got off the phone with the governor's office just moments ago, and they said that they did receive an email from Kim Gardner today announcing that she would be stepping down today. It was expected that she was going to step down June 1st. What caused this change, abrupt change, um, we don't know yet. The governor's office has not released that email to me just yet. Um, but that is so far the information we have. And could it be related to the 130 hearing that she has today? This is the Quo Rento hearing that is underway initiated by the Missouri Attorney General's office. Exactly. So at 130 today, she was expected to be in court to have another hearing on this effort to remove her immediately. Um, the Attorney General had sent an investigator to follow her and found out that during work hours, she was in fact um, tending to her nursing degree, her pursuit of a nursing degree. And so that was in a recent court filing that was also going to be considered today at 1.30. My guess is that today at 1.30, the judge will probably consider a motion her attorneys are gonna enter as soon as they can to say, that this proceeding is now moot now that she has resigned. They've been arguing that in legal filings up until now, saying all of this discovery, all of the requests for documents and everything should just go away because she has announced her plans to resign. The attorney general has said, well, wait a minute. I won't believe it till I see it June 1st. Now it's happened today. And today's hearing will be uh, looked over by a new judge, correct? Isn't exactly. this the first hearing? Yes. Exactly. So this was to be the first hearing in front of a new judge that she had requested. Mm -hmm. So this would, was going to be his first chance to look at this case. And it was possible he could issue a ruling from the bench on all kinds of motions. Um, this also will, I guess, prevent her from being deposed by the Missouri Attorney General's office and it would prevent some of her key staff members from being deposed. It could essentially stop the whole thing. But again, her attorneys have to make that motion to the judge to say that, you know, judge, we want this dismissed now that she has stepped down. I would also add though, that today's announcement does not change a May 30th contempt of court hearing she has in front of Judge Michael Noble. And so that is still proceeding with a special prosecutor. And so we, we have yet to see what happens in that case, too. And Judge Noble is one of the 15 or 18 or so who have applied to run the circuit attorney's office. That's right, Kay. So just yesterday was the deadline to apply for the governor's appointment to fill this seat. The governor's office confirmed to me yesterday that they had a total of 18 people submit applications for that position. They were going to narrow it down to about six, and then they were going to have the governor interview two to three of those candidates. Well, the governor's office just had to severely cut down that timeline uh, because that office is empty as of today. Mm -hmm. Governor Parson, we should mention, is also in St. Louis today. He was expected to meet with Mayor Tashora Jones, and, and he does have some meetings on his schedule to deal with this. Absolutely, and we are going to be talking to him later this afternoon. Of course, all of this has developed just in the past few minutes, so it's unclear how he will be handling the, this appointment, and it's going to have to be fast. I mean, this is not an office that you can just leave vacant. Um, you know, there are thousands of people involved, lives on the line here, people sitting in jail, crime victims waiting for justice. I mean, you don't want to leave this open. And not to mention, there are so many trials that are that are scheduled right now to go on. And they're assigned to prosecutors that no longer work for Kim Gardner. Mm -hmm. So many implications to this. And we know you'll be watching it all afternoon for us. We will, of course, bring you more on this story. Christine will as well. On Five on Your Side at 4, 5, and 6, we will break in if we need to. And we'll be covering the hearing should it happen at 1.30 on the Five on Your Side app. We'll be live streaming it. So join us on KSDK.com. Thank you, Christine. Thanks, Kay.